Welcome to another tutorial by Photographer Overnight. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how amazing a raw file is when you're trying to salvage an image. This image was actually taken without any flash on my subject. We scheduled the session at sunset so I could get the great colors of the sky, but then my flash batteries died on me just as it was getting dark. So here's how you can still capture two exposures with one raw file. So believe it or not, this is the original image. You want to expose your image so the faces are only slightly underexposed because then there's still enough detail in the sky to bring it back and it's always easier to darken up your image than to brighten up dark subjects because you'll get a lot of grain on the faces the darker your subjects are. So the first thing I want to show you is just how much detail we have to work with in the sky with a raw file. I've got Adobe Camera Raw open here. And we're just going to drop the exposure. You can see the detail of the clouds coming back. And I'm going to bring the blacks up. Then I'm going to increase the vibrance, which will bring up more of the blues and purples. And the saturation will increase the oranges. And drop the exposure a little more here. Then the other thing we can do is grab the adjustment brush. I've dropped the exposure a little, and then here you can change the color. I've changed it to blue, and I've brought the clarity up and the contrast up. So when we paint on the sky with the adjustment brush, we're going to bring back more of the blue. And I'm going to drop the exposure a little lower. So here's the before and after of what we've done to the sky. You can see it's pretty amazing how much detail is in this raw file still, even though we've completely overexposed the sky. So what you're going to do is save this image twice. We're going to save this for the sky and hit save. Then we're going to bring this back to the camera raw defaults. And then we're going to save it for our subjects. Bringing up the exposure here, giving them some fill light. And I'm actually going to decrease the clarity then increasing the vibrance a little to match the sky a little better. And I'm going to warm it up and decrease the reds a little. Then if you zoom in, you'll see we have a little bit of grain here. So coming over to the detail tab, we're going to increase the noise reduction. And then we're going to save this image for our subjects. Click save image. I'll change this to faces, then hit save. So closing out of here, we're going to open up our two images in Photoshop. I like to have the sky layer on the bottom. In case I need to decrease the effect, I'll just decrease it on the subjects. Then we'll bring our faces layer directly on top. Turning on and off the eyeball, you can see they're lined up. Then we're going to turn this layer off so that we can select our subjects. This is a really quick way. Grab the magic wand. We're going to select this layer down here because our subjects are completely dark, so it'll be an easy selection. We'll just click here, and then I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Holding down shift, I can add to the selection. Then we've got them selected. We'll click on the layer up here, turn it back on, and then Add layer mask here, and this completely masks out everything else but what we had in our selection. So now we're just going to go through with a black brush and mask out more of the image. You'll just paint with a black brush directly on the mask. Using a lower opacity, we can get these edges to blend in. And we'll just paint right into our subjects so we can blend them into the layer underneath. Then you'll notice a halo around your subjects because they're so bright and the layer underneath is so dark. So we'll paint with a black brush on the mask to just blend them in here. Then I'm just going to darken up the ground a little more down here. And then we're going to decrease the opacity on this layer. You can see the before and after of adding our new layer. There we have two exposures from one raw file, one exposure for our faces, and one for the sky behind them. Then we'll just save this as a JPEG, and you're done!
For more great free photography tips and tutorials, visit photographerovernight.com.